only deal with fire, we passing on all the weak ish. Talking pure culture, ain't none of that hype beast ish. Nah, this beginning to the end, no. Always keep it G, ain't nothing here for pretend, yo. Yeah, so you should want to lift your friends, know the God of the sneakers get blessed by Saint Hendo. I'm out. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Saint Hendo, God's favorite sneakerhead. Um, so today, what we're gonna do is. Um, First of all, I want to start by telling you guys I appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, I really, really do. Um, it's, it's been a long journey. We finally hit 1K, uh, which is a very proud moment. I didn't know a thousand folks even cared about what I was doing, so I definitely appreciate it. Um, also, the um, I got a sneaker page. Um, I appreciate you guys for joining. Um, the link is in the description. I got a sneaker page, a meme page. It's very active groups. If you want to get in, by all means, hit the links in the description, and we'll do that. All right, so on to the video. So what we got going on is, so I'm going to do a little series on here for all my Jordan pickups. So story time. So what happened is, like, I used to collect J's many, many moons ago. I was like, everything behind me you see, that used to all be just Jordans, all right? So um, at one point, I decided to stop buying Jordans. I uh, started buying LeBron stuff. When LeBron came out, I decided from that point forward, I was just gonna buy a lot of bronze. So I ended up selling all of my um, my entire Jordan collection and used that money to finance buying all of the bronzes they came out. So that's how I got my LeBron collection up. Um, so now I kind of want to get back into Jays, um, but since I got so many, since I let so many go, I only I only had maybe one or two pair left. Um, so I'll be starting pretty much from almost zero. Um, so I'll do a, I'm doing a series now, which, which is this, uh, when I post J's, just me catching up buying J's that I like from previous releases over the years that I haven't got. So it's going to be some old stuff, but it's stuff that I don't have um, that came out not only while I was um, transitioning to LeBron, the, to the LeBron line, but also that came out during the time that I was collecting LeBron's line. So it's, it's all kind of new to me. Um, just getting back into that technology and getting back into those days because whether you want to admit it or believe it or not Jordan's is All the original not original but all the Jordan silhouettes generally are um, especially 1 through 14 16 or whatever Those are old technologies nothing new about those it's still the old stuff. They're not nowhere near as comfortable or uh, As well put together so to say as the newer sneakers that come out LeBron's line or whatever so um, the main reason people like to buy J's really is for nostalgia purposes. That's what makes the sneaker so dope. It's because no matter the technology, people still love them. So, I mean, I'm one of those guys. I do. I love J's. I came up on George. That was my bread and butter when I came up. So um, this will be the first one of the first videos in that series that I'm making. I'm still coming up with a name. So whenever you see the name of it, when I put it up, you know, when I, when I actually post this video, then you'll know, like, this is the title of said series. So um, that's what I'll be doing. That's the whole process. So this is what we're doing today. This is a look at me with the, not a new pickup, but this is one of the J's that I have now. So this will be the first video I'll post. So these are Jordan Bread 11s. All right. These are from 2019. All right. So which I'm sure everybody's seen these, nothing crazy. All right, um, same old, same old, just regular box. Box kind of beat, you know what I'm saying? But it's all right. I bag all my sneakers up. I just took them out for the video, uh, paper, and I got the card. I got them off of GOAT, so that's that. All right, so, um, nothing, like I said, nothing crazy about the box. It's the old school Jordan box, you know what I'm saying? Which I really like that. See, told you, it's nostalgia. It's stuff like that that I like. All right, so you got the nostalgia purposes on the box, too. All right, so let's throw that to the side. All right, so. Uh, Jordan 11s, love them. Probably one of my favorite silhouettes. It's a lot of people's favorite silhouette. Um, but this particular one, like I really like um, the high cut patent leather on Jordan 11s. That's me personally. And that's the original cut of Jordan 11s. I like those. It's not necessarily the fact that it's original. I just like the way it looks. I don't like the low cut patent leather on the side. I, I prefer that higher mid cut. Um, that's me personally. Everybody got their own thing about it. Uh, but I love it. Like I, 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 mm, I, I don't think. Not saying I wouldn't buy any J's that weren't, um, that weren't a mid cut, uh, patent leather for the 11s. But I prefer this this model. Uh, so yeah. But I always love this sneaker. Always these playoff joints. Um, 
everything about it is just a very classy all around sneaker that everybody just goes with everything and the main reason for me personally one of the main reasons i love this so much is because of that red translucent sole because it, it doesn't yellow like the space jams or uh concords it, it just it, it'll wear down over time and don't get me wrong it might get a little darker or a little worn but it doesn't look as bad as when they yellow on the other models um, I really do, I really, really like that about these. These are just something you can wear all the time. You just gotta keep them clean. That's really all it is. You just have to keep them clean. Um, so I'm really big on cleaning my sneakers and maintaining, but these are something when I was deciding to get back into the Jordan game and start copying kicks again from Jordan, um, Jordan brand, I knew right then that I had to grab, one of the first pairs I grabbed was Bread 11. Like it was no, that was the first sneaker I grabbed. I would've grabbed a pair of ones, but that was a little out of my range right then to get some like Chicago one and shit it still is for it. So it's uh, that's rough. That is rough. Um, so I don't know. I'll get them eventually. You know what I'm saying? I'll get a pair of uh, ones eventually. Uh, Jordan uh, high ones. Uh, but yeah, but these are definitely at the top of my list of things I knew I had to have. Because if, if anything was to happen, uh, like Jordan brand or anything like that, or Jordan itself, and these sneakers were to go through the roof, like how Kobe sneakers did, like these would be stupid hard to get like i already know so i knew i wanted to have these in case anything went south so just in case um but everything i mean patent leather that tumble leather on the back that ballistic material that ballistic mesh right there i mean classic classic shoe um nothing about this shoe to me is that this is borderline of the perfect sneaker to me uh because nothing on here um cannot be cleaned properly or not be stored in a way that you can you can maintain the sneaker for years and years and years. So it's definitely something that I had to have back in the collection. So, um, look, see, I wore these, you know what I'm saying? I, I had them out. I mean, I wear all my stuff eventually. Um, but yeah, but definitely had to have these. So this will be, this will be a new series um, that I'll be doing. So you guys stay tuned. Um, there'll be plenty more to come. Oh uh, yeah, you know. Also, uh, I guess let me go ahead and show that piece. You know how people live. Got the uh, got the red uh, shoe tree in there, the plastic one, the brown. So yeah, but um, yeah, I'll definitely be doing uh, more of this series because I'm trying to really up my Jordan collection. And I want I I don't necessarily like every J, but I do like the Jordans that you don't see all the time. I like kind of the weird silhouettes. I like different colors i don't just want the og colorways i really want um I, I want stuff that that fits me like i want things i like i don't want what everybody loves some things i do have that everybody loves right here something everybody loves i like these i cool but it's other stuff that i love that everybody may not like and that's perfectly fine but i like it and that's all i buy stuff i like if i don't like it i'm not buying it that's just me that's how i get down so uh, you guys enjoy seeing this stuff and all that. So I definitely want to be putting that kind of stuff out. So uh, it'll be more videos to come. Um, I'll be dropping more of this this particular series. I'll be dropping more videos. Of. So stay tuned if you want to see me in transition to copping my road to gr uh, grinding and getting J's. That's that's this whole mission right now. So all the 21, I don't care. New J's, old J's, used J's. I want J's in great condition. Um, things that I like. I don't just want what everybody has. So um, stay tuned. Um, I'll definitely keep this stuff coming. Uh, appreciate you guys again. Uh, I'll holler at you later. All right. Later.